guys! Today I'm reviewing The Avengers. The episode's called The Cybernauts. <laughs> He's quite harmless until programmed. Then only I can stop. The TV show The Avengers started in 1961 and lasted until 1969 and they did 161 episodes. In the first season it was John Stade played by Patrick McNay and a character called David Cale played by Ian Hendry. After that, John Stade was assisted by different female assistants. The first was Kathy Gale, played by Honor Blackman. This was from season two and three. After that, the character was called Emma Pale, played by Diana Rigg, and that lasted from seasons four to five. Then the final season, the character was called Tara King, played by Linda Thorson. The last two seasons were made in colour, seasons five and six. After that, there was a TV show called The New Avengers. This was from 1976 to 1977. It lasted two seasons and 26 episodes. In that show, Steed was joined by Mike Gambit, played by Gareth Hunt, and Purdy, played by Joanna Lumley. Then there was a movie in 1998. It starred Ralph Fiennes as John Stade, Irma Thurman as Emma Pale, and the villain was played by Sean Connery. However, the film was a massive flop, both critically and commercially. The Cybernauts featured in three stories. The first was in season four, called The Cybernauts, in 1965, then they came back in 1967 for Return of the Cybernauts for season 5, and then in the New Avengers in 1976 they appeared in Last of the Cybernauts. However this review will cover the first Cybernauts story in season 4. The Cybernauts was broadcast in 1965 and was directed by Sidney Hears. It was written by Philip Levine who also wrote Return of the Cybernauts. The music was by Laurie Johnson. It stars Patrick McNay as John Stade, Diana Rigg as Emma Pale, and it also co-stars Michael Goff as Dr. Clement Armstrong and Frederick Yeager as Benson. And Benson would also appear in Return of the Cybernauts. So the Cybernauts are the major villains of the Avengers. John Stade and Emma Pale discover all these businessmen have been killed. And they've all got an interest in this new Japanese circuit system. And it turns out a character played by Michael Goff has invented these robotic men called Cybernauts. And he's using them to kill off these businessmen. <laughs> They look like the bloody Cybermen out of Doctor Who. And they look very menacing. I think it's because of the, the clothing they wear. So they've got these blank faces with black sunglasses and a hat and a suit. And they're very tall and they're walking around like robots. And there's a brilliant sound effect when they do like a karate chop. Whoosh! The bulletproof. They can, they can crash through doors. They're, they're almost unstoppable. Really great design and great villains. So this story is the first of the three that they did. And with it being the first one, it's in black and white. And the Avengers is noted for its surreal storylines. And this is a great example of it. It's also got James Bond influences. John Stade's got gadgets in his umbrella. He has like a mini camera that you can take photos. And I think the chemistry between the two lads is great. I, I think um, Diana Riggs, the best of his assistants. And there's almost a little hint of sexuality between them both. Yeah, how the hell's John Steed got all these hot women? Hey, Phil, buy me a fucking bowler hat and an umbrella. <laughs> Patrick McNay, he's got the character perfectly. He's like a fun gentleman, likes a laugh. And it reminds me a little bit of the Kinsman film. Diana Riggs great. She shows off a, a karate in this episode. Her accent's very posh though. It's a little bit distracting, but it's still great. And every time I say her it, she reminds me of a couple of films that I love. On Her Majesty's Secret Service, where she gets married to Bond. And also Theatre of Blood with Vincent Price, one of my favourite films. Michael Goff, he's, he's really good in this as well. 
He plays the creator of the Cybernauts and he's wheelchair bound. His character relies on gadgets anyway because he's in a wheelchair and his character, I keep, it keep reminding me of Davros. Because he's wheelchair bound and he um, created the Daleks with Michael Goff's characters in a wheelchair and he's creating the Cybernauts. There's like a bit of similarity between both characters. They also get killed by the creation, although Davros returns. <laughs> So the thing with this story is kind of like man versus machines. Michael Goff's characters wanting humanity to rely on machinery. And he uses this pen for the Cybernauts to track where the pen's at. If he wants to kill someone, he conceals a, like a, a pen on the person. Hey, that bloody Michael Goff. He was a right bloody twat. Stain should have shoved his bloody pen right up his bloody ass. <laughs> And the Cybernauts crash into the horns. There's a great beginning where the very first victim gets killed. He's trying to shut his door, but he, he can't stop the Cybernaut from breaking through. It's also a very moody, well-directed episode, this one. Lots of shadows. The titles are fun, using pictures. Really uh, kind of fun title sequence. And the Cybernauts are on a, a blue rear now, all three episodes. And it's remastered as well. And another funny thing about this is you get original adverts where the, there's ad breaks. So you get old fashioned black and white adverts in this episode. But you have the option of not watching them if you don't want to watch them. So overall I thought this episode was almost perfect. I prefer the Avengers when it's in colour. But uh, for a black and white episode this was really good. Classic episode. And I think out of 10, I think I'd give it top marks. 10. 10 out of 10. Really enjoyed it. What do you think it was to do, like Top marks, Phil. Get Return of the Cybernauts reviewed. That's me favourite of the three. So the Cybernauts will return in Return of the Cybernauts and Last of the Cybernauts. So I'll review them two episodes sometime soon. Okay, everybody, bye. That's a fun share. Bye.